What is supposed to be a proud celebration for hundreds of University of Idaho graduates will also be a time to reflect on the quadruple murder that has consumed this college town for weeks. People aren't like going out to do things as much and just like keeping their doors locked a lot more. Today's commencement ceremonies will start with a moment of silence to honor four friends, Kaylee, Madison, Ethan, and Zana, who were found stabbed to death inside this off-campus rental home on November 13th. I think there's like peace of mind by like trying just to trust what the cops are saying and if they're saying there isn't a threat, like trying to trust that. Tuesday will mark the one month anniversary of the heinous crime that is yet to be solved, but the FBI is helping collect new tips and there's a new lead. Investigators released stock images of a 2011 to 2013 white Hyundai Elantra spotted near the crime scene the morning of the murders. It's not much, but the first major development in weeks. We are just wanting to talk to the individuals who are in that vehicle. Um, they may have some valuable information for us. This year's tree lighting ceremony and parade was festive, yet painful, as many are still on edge because no suspect has been named or arrested. It's strange to have something this big and this dramatic and violent happen in a town this size. Investigators are asking for trust and patience. This case is absolutely not going cold. As we look through those tips, we're getting closer and closer to getting this puzzle put together, finding out what happened and making an arrest. But true closure may not come until a killer is caught. Dana Griffin, NBC News. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.